let's mess around with some point cloud data. Ooh. Alright guys, how's it going? It's came to that time of the week again, where it's Software Sunday, and this is where we just take a look around, see what's out there in the market, this might be a Windows application, it might be a website, and today I have an absolute cracker for you, and it's called the Point Cloud Sandbox. It's available for free, it's on the web, nice one. Now first and foremost, I want to apologise, it was my intention to review the rain meter, this lets you customise your own Windows desktop, you have things like fancy folders, clocks, stuff like this, definitely worth checking it out, but Murphy's Law is an absolute bitch and it decided your second monitor is going to die today. So rest in peace monitor. But anyway, back over to the Point Cloud Sandbox. Now this is made by an absolute phenomenal artist. He's called Quentin. I will not pronounce the second name because I will just butcher it, but he's absolutely amazing. There's a good chance that you've seen his work. He's top dog when it comes to Houdini, but he made this very nice tool. Now about two, maybe even three years ago, he posted this on Facebook and I says, it'd be really nice if you could export this out. So he managed to implement exporting the PLY file. Nice one, thank you very much. And it's a nice basic program. What you can do here is you can actually upload your own mesh. So this is a subdivided Cezanne. You can play around with things like the tessellation. You can add a texture, which is not really needed to be honest. But the main thing is you can play around with the brush size. So you can change things like the radius so we can move it in and out nice and quickly. We can change the force multiplier so we can actually put this right up. Kind of get this elastic effect. And obviously we can play around with gravity. And we can also play around with the mesh gravity. So if I put it away up high, it should ping back very quickly. If I put the mesh gravity away down low, you can see here, it kind of disperses the particles. Now the great thing about this is you can freeze the mesh at any point. So by pressing the space bar, so I'm just going to do something like this, you'll notice that I've froze the mesh. Excellent. And this is the thing that I really do like. Now you can play around with things like the noise, you can change the frequency, stuff like this, even the amplitude. But the main thing that I really like about this is export. It exports out a PLY file, which can then be taken into Blender. And we'll do that in a second. Let's just quickly unfreeze this. Let's just quickly do something a little bit crazy. That's looking good. I'll go to export. I'll save this as monkey. We'll quickly jump into Blender, that was the original mesh. What I'll do is I'll just quickly hide this, I'll go to File, I'll go to Import, I'll import the PLY file, quickly jump on the desktop, this is it here. Looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly scale this down a little bit because it's a little bit big. I think it multiplies it by 10 the scale, not a problem, and I think it rotates it as well, so let's quickly rotate it back to something like this. Then what we can do is we can go to the particle settings, we can add in our particle matters, we can check how many vertices is, so it's 47,000, so let's just quickly make it 50,000. Now earlier on today I had over, I think it was 200,000, <laughs> and it kind of did slow down a little bit to be honest. Now I don't think this was actually my machine, I just think Blender was kind of, it was just struggling a little bit to deal with the amount of points. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the end frame down to 1, so everything starts, I'm going to emit from the verts obviously, go into render properties, and you can see here we're now rendering pretty much on every single point. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add in an object and we'll just instance the object onto these points. So let's just add in something, we'll just add in a UV sphere, that's nice and easy. We'll select the points again, we'll come down to render, we'll render as, we'll make this an object. We'll then select the sphere and we end up with something like this. And that's pretty damn cool to be honest. Now earlier on I did do it with meta balls as well. It did kind of give a nice result but it was a little bit, whoa, my machine started crying. And that is pretty much the Point Cloud Sandbox. It's just a really nice website to be honest. And it lets you create nice organic stuff like this. Anyway, do me a favour, like the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, I need to buy a new monitor. <laughs> You know what to do. Take care.